Sometimes only a single digit can make a huge difference. If you see a Dell laptop bearing the number 1 at the end of its model number, it is probably sporting pretty powerful hardware, at least a better one, compared to the one ending with a zero. This leads us to the laptop we're reviewing today, the Dell Precision 153571. It offers a significant upgrade over the 3570, as it features H-series processors and up to the RTX A2000 GPU. Exterior-wise, 3571 shares the same body and chassis as the Latitude 155531. The build quality of the product is pretty good, although it is predominantly made out of plastic with some hints of carbon here and there. The measurements go around 23mm in thickness, and less than 1.8kg in weight. The keyboard has decent key travel and fairly clicky feedback. With a fingerprint reader embedded in the power button, and a touchpad, which is enviously responsive, you are getting a rather finished product. On the left side, you get two Thunderbolt 4 connectors and a smart card reader. The right, on the other hand, is a bit more populous. There is a security lock slot, a LAN port, an HDMI 2.0 connector, followed by two full-sized USB 3.2 generation 1 ports, an audio jack, and a micro SD card slot. Inside we see two SODM slots for up to 64GB of DDR5 RAM, and two M.2 PCIe X4 slots with Generation 4 and RAID support. The battery has a capacity of 64Wh which leaves space for a 2.5-inch SATA drive but there are no mounting accessories in the box. Anyway, watch our disassembly guide to see how to open the notebook. Dell somehow still finds HD TN display panels and it's not ashamed to offer them as an option for its high-end series like Precision but as always, we'll turn a blind eye to it and test the full HD variant made by LG. It has decent brightness and very good contrast ratio, however, it covers just 50% of the sRGB color gamut so don't expect vivid, nor accurate colors. The average color deviation is 6.0, and while our design and gaming profile make things better, the display is still far from being suitable for professional work with colors. Precision 153571 can also be ordered with a 4K screen so if you do color sensitive work, this is your only option. If you don't, the full HD panel is not that bad, it doesn't use harmful PWM which is good for your eyes. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. This laptop 64 watt hours battery pack lasts for 12 hours and 43 minutes of web browsing, or 9 hours and 22 minutes of video playback. These are very good results. You can find this device with 2 Core i5, 2 Core i7, or Core i9-12900H. We bought the most powerful variant and... Yes, it is definitely powerful. Besides the integrated graphics cards, there are the NVIDIA T600, RTX A1000, and RTX A2000 to choose from. These are professional-grade graphics cards for serious work. However, in order to ensure stability, Precision 3571 keeps the CPU temperature low which leads to low core frequencies and low performance. At the end of the day, your purchase decision should rely mainly on your workflow. If you are constantly taking advantage of your hardware, you should better look for a device that has a more capable cooling solution. However, if the workload consists of many but short bursts of load, then the Precision 153571 might cut it. Especially if you care about battery life too. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.